Hi, I'm Megan Gill, and I want to talk to you today about florals and fall florals at that. So I have a new setup. I'm working on it. I'm unpacking, but we're getting there. And we're going to see what it's like to paint with just four colors today. So I'm going to switch over to this. And if you like what you see here, you can sign up for my newsletter down below at MeganBaileyGill.com slash sign up or subscribe to this YouTube channel. All right, so I am using today Reeves Orange watercolor, Fresh Tint watercolor, okay, and then I'm going to do Sap Green Reeves watercolor, and then I have a Burnt Sienna watercolor, all right. I am using my block, my Fluid 100 block cold finish 6x8. It's becoming my new favorite. I have a few brushes here. I have a little tiny one, which is a Princeton Select 20 over zero. I have a quarter inch oval mop. I have an Escada. Oh, that's getting pretty. I think it's a number six. It doesn't have it on there anymore. And a Simply Simmons number two brush from Michaels, as you can tell. And I also have a kneaded eraser, which I may or may not use because I'm trying. I don't know if I'm going to. I don't know if I'm going to actually. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to. All right, so that was, am I going to draw up first? No, I'm not going to. Okay, so I have me some water right here, and I have some paint. So here's my orange, my green. That's my peach, which I should have, like, scrunched up a little bit because I've got a lot of the water here in it. And I'm going to just come in and see if I can't get that more painty. There we go. That's better. You see how that, that works much better. Okay. Now, do you see the consistency of this? This is pretty milky which means it's pretty thick. So if I put that on my paper, I'm not going to be able to see through it a lot. So I'm going to put some water here. There we go. All right. And I'm just going to start making some flowers. So I'm really not sure what I'm going to do today. I'm just going to come in and make a few blooms, I think. So notice I'm leaving a little bit of line between the two. And then I think I'm going to go up here and go whoop, big one and a little one. Oh, now I kind of like that shape. All right. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to now try. So that's going to be my main center. And let's see what I'm going to do over here. I'm going to do a little bit of a littler one. Now this has got big old C's and I'm pushing down as I go to make bigger ones, bigger petals. All right. And you see how some of them are going together and some of them aren't. That's great. I think that that is fantastic. All right. And you know what? I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to move on to a darker color. This is the Burnt Sienna, which is a great red brown. It can go orange or it can go brown. It's really, it, I, I just love it. All right. So I think here I'm going to do another one of those Let's see what I've got here. The good thing about flowers are that you can, with a round brush like this, you can just kind of wing it. Now notice I kind of want them to touch each other. So I'm going to come in and make that a little bit bigger. And I'm kind of just wiggling it back and forth. I'm not working too hard on this. And I think I'm going to come over here and do one of those little baby ones. And where it touches, I'm going to stop because this is my the star of the show. So I'm going to leave it there and let it just sit there. Okay. Now I really like this color and we're going to come back to this. I think I'm going to add another one. Let's add another one of those. And you know what? Let's do this. Notice I just totally switched my position, but I'm going to continue. All right. Now where am I going here? You, do y'all see that? I kind of have a big old blob. We're going to just have to see how that works. All right. And now I'm going to get into some orange. Now this orange is really, really bright. Like go UT, right? All right. So let's see what we've got here. All right. So I think I'm going to do some little starf, like daisies. Okay. And they're just going to be little dots. And I'm using the paintbrush to actually make those pretty starfishes. All right. Now I'm liking that. Now I've done every color and going, okay, so I've got my medium is going to be my burnt sienna. My medium, my large is going to be the 
nice peach and then I've got some green coming. So what I'm going to do though, before I start that is I'm going to start defining some of this just a little bit. So inside the peach one, I'm going to take some more peach and I'm going to come in and see if you can't tell what I'm doing. Now I'm adding a little bit of shading to that. Now you can see the glow, but I am sitting here and I can't see much. So I'm actually going to add a little bit of this burnt sienna to this to make this a little bit darker. You see how I'm just kind of smoothing it together and I'm going to come in here. Oh, that's what I want right there. That's a gorgeous color. And I'm only going to do like the tips. Now, did you see how I went in the top here and I went in the bottom there? Because I wanted to see how the flower would rotate. Depending on where you have the shading depends on where it will actually show or kind of, what's the word? Tilt the direction of it. Okay, so I'm going to come in and you're like, but I thought you said these were peach. It will be because these will be really dark. So I'm going to stop with that and I'm going to come down here to this dark one and I'm going to add some more dark to it. Now let's see if it's the same thing. Can I see? Oh, I can. I like that. That works pretty nice. Okay. I like that. That looks pretty good. All right. And I'm going to come into this one. Now, I could have added a little bit of green to this or uh, some orange to this. Like, I think I'm going to add a little bit of orange dots to each one of those. Oh, that helped those, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, and another thing that I am not loving these, so I'm going to take a clean brush. Notice I am not doing good at keeping my brush, my water clean. But I am taking some, and let's take it off. See if we can't take some of those off. All right, just getting some of that color off because it's a little much. All right, barely can tell that I did anything. That's always fun. All right, that was a peach. No, that was one of these red ones. It's red brown. And remember, it was some odd shapes here. So I get to choose. Do I want to put it back or do I come in? and see what I can make with it. The point of my story is, is that it's a loose floral, right? And it's not really hard. Like I'm just coming in and adding a few different colors to this to really show where to go. All right, now this is a little bright for me. So one of the things that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually add, we only have four colors, so I don't have much to options. I'm gonna add a little bit of green. And we're going to see what happens. Now, I really like that green. That's nice, but I kind of wanted more orange. So we're going to have to, that tells you that the green overpowers the orange. So that means I'm going to need a lot less green when I go to do my red, my orangey darker color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and add a few. Now notice, did y'all see that I did little bitty ones? which is just a little, a little pop. All right. And then I'm going to do some bigger ones, which is going to come out and really frame some of these pretty flowers. All right. Now I like that. Now I'm going to come in to this one and see what I've got. All right, now, remember, I kind of want that to be really dark in there. So I'm going to take some of this red brown, plop it over here. Then I'm going to get a little bit of green and I'm going to see what I can get. So I've got a lot of dark green and I'm going to get a lot of dark brown. And I'm getting a very dark brown color. I'm going to go ahead and add it to the center of some of these. Now, uh, that's nice getting there. Okay, now this light color here, I really like. I've added, I had a dirty brush, so it's nice light green now. And I'm going to come in and see if I can't go right off the tip.
All right, and I'm going to do that one more time down here. And one more time up here. Okay, notice I'm using the flow of the brush in order to do this. All right, now I'm going to take a little bit of this orange, a little bit of this lighter color here. Actually, what do you think if I choose this and a tiny bit of this brownie green? Ah, now we're talking, we're getting a nice taupe color, which I really, really like. Uh-huh, that's a pretty color. It's almost a peach, but not really. And notice I'm just making kind of a big old blob. So the point of this story is, is that you can use certain colors to do whatever you want. You can add to them. And notice that to make this big, beautiful bloom here, I barely did any strokes and it's really nice. All right, now this right here is a little bit of a mess. So we're coming in. It's pretty fall colors. All right, now I'm gonna come in and get a little bit more green. And I'm gonna come in and add to this. Now, notice today I'm using the watercolors that are, are in an actual tube they are really strong and it kind of if you're used to using just little um pan ones then you're gonna see oh wow this is really really powerful and uh strong so you don't even need this much paint i probably put too much paint on my actual um palette to begin with honestly all right and i'm gonna come in let's see if i can't add just a little bit more definition to those. Now I wanted to do a short lesson today. You think I'm going to get there? The problem is, is that I don't have, oh, that's nice. That's a nice little color. Notice that's just gonna be a three one. I kind of like that too. All right, and I have pure green, right? Let's just go pure green and see what happens. Well, this pure green is really, really bright, but I'm going to put it in as my highlight on some of these. And I'm just building up color. And liking that. And I'm filling in some of the blanks here with some green because I kind of want the green to make those power, those flowers pop up. You see what I'm doing there? Because the green is a little darker. What was that right there? That was a pretty color. All right, and I'm gonna come in and add. Maybe it's behind that. And again, I'm gonna get me some red and some green. Get a really dark color and put it down right there. So that's framing that. I'm gonna, I, you know, not every flower has these brown dots in them, but I really love making brown dots or black dots in flowers because it really starts showing me this is the center, but I kind of use it as a crutch, I have to say. So, you know, it's nothing's really wrong with that if you know that you're doing it. Like I know I'm doing that. I know that I can really paint a real thing if I really wanted to, but I'm just playing around right now. And notice that I was just dotting in here and making these nice little dots of this. And I really thought that was fun. All right, and I'm gonna continue to add those little dots into here. And one of the thing about brown dots like that, I'm adding them on top of things so think of them kind of as baby's breath, you know, in the baby's breath of those, of they're, they're used as filler. Well, in art, they can be used also as filler, but it adds an extra texture and a different layer. You see how the layer is showing? I love that about this. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this and I'm gonna add, I feel like this needs right in here. Just a little bit of green. All right. Now, that looks great. 
And I think I'm going to take a little bit of this brown. You know, I've added those curly cues, but now I think I'm going to add some brown curly cues. Now, did y'all notice I haven't changed brushes at all? Well, that's okay. Um, because what I could do now is I think I'm going to get a little baby brush. Well, I'm getting the number two brush. Let's see if I can add a little bit of. Now, I feel like that just made that pretty flat. So I don't know if I want to do that to every one of them. There we go. And here, that's nice. All right. So I'm going to add some green on this peach might really help make these show up a little bit more. So I'm adding the green on top of the brown. And do you see how the colors, because they're next to each other, are actually creating more of a dark brown slash almost black. I'm going to add a little bit in here. Because the green and that brown go together, they're darker. And that's really making them stand out. So I want you to start using different colors is my point. I want you to get used to going in and going, okay, guess what? I don't have to use reds all the time. I can use red and blue, or I can use green and orange and see what happens. Now, sometimes that's a no-no. Like sometimes that gets into like some real weird colors, but that you won't know that if you don't try it. And that's kind of my point. Okay, now I'm really liking that. That's getting there. I like it. I'm going to wait for this to dry and then I will come back and I will do a little bit of uh, pin work to it. And actually, let's see if I can't find. Hold. There we go. So this is a very old uh, heat gun that I think Martha Stewart made a long, long time ago. It's been used quite a bit, but it's louder. Um, it's pretty close to being dry. All right, so I've got a, my Uniball Signo 207 Bold pen here. Let me get this out of the way for a little bit. Let's come right here and let's come in. And notice I'm using the shapes of my actual flower to really hone in on what the shape is that I'm going to draw. Because that was kind of where my petals were. And some of these, I'm just kind of coming in and drawing little fancy little flowers. And when you get to these round ones, you got to do C's, C crescent moons. And that will teach you how to kind of make those. And you kind of start really close together. And then they get bigger and kind of lighter to really show you where that's coming from. And... Now, one of the things that I didn't really love was the peach and how the peach was very opaque. You know, I've used gouache before on this and I talked about opaque versus transparent. And this, that peach was not very transparent at all. And one of the reasons why was because it had water in it. I'm having trouble talking when I do this step sometimes. So I kind of can't do my sentences sometimes to get in the zone. One of the things that I like about pin work is that, uh, again, people can say that you're using it as a crutch, but I like the illustrative style. And I can do not illustrated style, but I just think it's fun. And I love the way it pops things. and how the contrast is really, really fun for me. All right. And you see, I don't even really pay attention. I mean, I pay attention to some of the colors and the shapes, but I kind of go outside the lines a lot. 
and even to the point where I'm going to come in and add some more dots and even adding some some sticks now I'm really liking every time I do a flower I like to make these like you see at the bottom how these come out and that really does help make um, it look like it's deep in there because this is in front of All right now I think that's pretty good I signed it at the bottom and so that's what it looks like with four colors. Notice that I really can't tell much between the peach and the uh, orange here at all. Um, I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see what you got. Okay, I'll see you next week.